God. As a reflection on the God we serve. This judgment ultimately becomes their banner excuse they use for not serving God. Yes, it's a poor excuse, but it's the most widely used one by them. The world points their fingers at us and our shortcomings when we display our bad conduct as their main reason for not wanting to serve God. So therefore, we must be careful and not guilty of letting poor conduct we allow practice in our lives to become a stumbling block to them and bring a dim light on the gospel message. It is the responsibility of every believer to walk in a true reflection of God's light and in a godly manner. For we should be a true reflection of God's light that lights us up before the world. For we can only shine God's reflective light if we walk in the light. Christ is the light within us. And if we give forth that light and work with that light through our good conduct again before men, it will, it will bring praise and honor to God. Our life should be a reproduction in the mirror that declares and affirms that we are the offspring of our divine father. And the imagery derived from his light being imparted with his supernatural fire within us to such a degree that giving light becomes a natural part of our nature. This is a glorious inheritance of the redeemed that we get to now possess and dwell in his accessible light, even before we enter the great by and by. For we have right now been ignited on the inside and inflamed on the outside with the highest sense of applied light, the light of Christ, who is a son of righteousness given to us by God, the Father of lights, who wants to forge and mold all who are willing into burning, shining lights of true disciples. That by our witness and preaching of the gospel, he has entrusted us with the charge of customizing his earthly treasures, which are the souls of men, to curate them in stewardship until ultimately they are fitted, secure, and exact in heaven among his heavenly treasures for throughout eternity. To let our light shine is the key element in letting our individual lives speak as a witness before the world. We, when we live above reproach and have a godly testimony before our neighbors, our light then boldly speaks about the power of God that has by grace transformed and led us from darkness of Satan's kingdom and brought us into the more light of God's kingdom that is eternal never ending and never changing you see darkness has no place with light it can't exist with light and we are the ones who determine which one will rule the spiritual rooms within us light or darkness and yet both have the ability to mind us for good or bad Darkness causes a bad blindness in the ways of God's truth. But light causes a good blindness on our desires to operate in darkness. It's hard for us to hide in the light because light exposes the flaws we need to get rid of, the blemishes we need to remove, and the dirt we need to be washed away. Now let's speak about in our private times too. In our private times, you know when no one's around, we must still live in the light and let our light shine more than ever before our God in heaven. It's important, especially in our private times, that we let our light shine when temptations like to rear its ugly head best to entice us away from 
good conduct. When temptation tries to get us to dim the light or hide our light because of where we're at or the places we've taken ourselves to or the people we're around. Because in the midst of that temptation, the lights are off, so to speak. So we turn ours off to click, to fit in with that particular temptation. The Bible tells us that we are to be lights in the world. But in order to do this effectively, we have to keep a right tight fit connection to our energy source in heaven above. Or we'll become inadequate lights. For just as a natural light which has, does not have a proper connection to its energy source is inconsistent, you know, when you click the switch, sometimes it comes on and sometimes it won't. And you have to keep jiggling the electrical cord in the wall socket. So then likewise will our faulty connection be if we keep practicing falling in and out of temptation and in and out of light and darkness. It will be faulty. The light, if you keep doing this in and out, will eventually experience a spiritual shortage and will eventually blow a fuse and send our whole house into a power outage in the spirit. Our spiritual houses will suffer the loss and our natural houses and everyone around us will experience the consequences. For the rippling effects of a power outage can be far reaching beyond our scope of vision. Yes, for far more people than you realize and think are watching us to give and shine light. And that light even more on heaven and the hope thereof. Yes. By letting your light shine so before men, we are being active ambassadors, preparing the groundwork within people. So when Christ enters their life and heart, their minds become enlightened through the preached word, which influences the fiber of a society. And prosperity and advancements comes to a nation where Christ is permitted to rule and reign in the hearts of people. Where the word of God is preached and taught publicly without hindrance. Our light shining through our conduct must point the way to the greater one above. Amen. Which will in turn reflect the greater one's light in us, commanding the God of glory to be praised and manifested through us on the earth. Therefore, we have the greatest of responsibilities on earth to be light. And let that light shine bright on heaven in 2011. How? By our good conduct. We are always to let our light shine. And God is saying particularly to those of you who are listening to this message today, to let your light shine brighter especially this year because he has framed 2011 to be the starting year to debut and display your life before men on a larger scale. When it is time firmly to him, I prophesy he's going to display the light, your light, through you, to your families, on your jobs, on school campuses of every grade level, Shining of 
good conduct, good character, good sound morals, good behavior, good stewards, good standards, and good medium for conveying and transmitting the power of God throughout the earth. The light we so shine needs to be a polished light that illuminates grace and forgiveness towards others. This is a distinguished light that sets us apart from the world. And this light the world needs is housed within us to find their way. To find their way out of sin. To find their way out of hopelessness. To find their way out of depression. To find their way out of false doctrines and the deceptions of today's so-called politically co correct agendas hacked from the very pit of hell. They need the light put to them in simple form that Christ is the light and the action. Listen, it's time.